Hi Management 7340 students, this is Steve Wagner, your professor, and in this video I'm presenting an overview of the syllabus and schedule to describe the highlights of important aspects of the course. Both the syllabus and the schedule are very important documents and I'd like you to read them carefully at the beginning of the class and have them handy to refer back to throughout the class because they have a lot of good information contained within them. You see at the top of the syllabus is the basic and important information about the class uh, identifying its its name and and then uh, me as the instructor and my office information that is there as well as my email my office hours are online because this is an online class and so they will be on Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to noon and you can access that through the Blackboard site in the Collaborate Ultra, or if you go to the Instructor tab in the main menu, there's also a link there to the Blackboard Collaborate site for Office Hours. I'm also available by phone, and you can get my cell phone information in the Instructors tab. And if you want to meet by appointment at times outside of these uh, online office hours, we can also arrange that through email. As we go past that basic information, you will see that there's course description and uh, the prerequisite and the rationale. I'll let you read that on your own. It's important to note that we are using the 14th edition of Compensation by Gearhart. Uh, published in 2024. I have the ISBN number there that is available in the bookstore and it is important that you use this edition because we'll be using case studies and other material from this particular edition. Moving forward as we consider the course website uh, this is very important again because this is an online class and we're going to be using Blackboard as the primary mode of having this class and so we have information here. One important thing uh, to understand is that you have to use your GSU email as part of this class. Uh, it, as we use Blackboard uh, there will be announcements made that will be also released through GSU email. Also when we email in Blackboard it gets sent through the GSU system and so if we reply back and forth we will be doing that in the GSU system. So even if you have uh, another system that you prefer to use, be sure that you have forwarded all your GSU emails automatically so that you don't miss anything going on with the class. Of course, there's other ways that we'll be communicating. There is the course questions discussion board. That's a great way to ask questions uh, and share those questions with others in class. Of course, the Collaborate Ultra, the video teleconferencing software that we use for office hours and again can also be used by appointment to meet with me. Moving forward in the syllabus you'll see that the course learning objectives are listed here and uh, these are also denoted by the acronym CLO. Um, these you will see uh, throughout the course uh, denoted as CLOs and also you'll see the acronym MLO for module learning objectives. These are different objectives for the course and each particular module in the course that we have for learning and as we have different activities for learning, different assignments, uh, these are mapped back to the goals that we have for learning and this is a way of you know, making sense of why we're doing the different things we do in this class. And speaking of different activities, there's a wide range of things that you, you'll be doing in this class. Of course, there will be different videos, both ones that I've produced and uh, others that I've curated that I think uh, are valuable for you to see. Uh, there will be uh, case study discussions that we'll do in small groups. Uh, there'll be uh, different assignments that we have, some using and applying Excel, 
uh, for compensation management. There'll be a range of different activities that we'll be doing and, and some of these things are, are evaluated. Again, so uh, the discussion board assignments, uh, as you can see, are 15 of those, each worth, each worth 20 points. Uh, we'll also, in each module each week, have an open book quiz and each of those is worth 20 points. Uh, during the course, there will be two different compensation analysis assignments. These will involve using Excel to uh, solve compensation problems. Each of those is worth 50 points. And there will be two exams, one around the midterm and one around the end of class. Each of those worth 150 points. You can see uh, that adds up to a total of 1,000 course points. Th this will be applied to the standard grade system that's used at Governor State uh, with pluses and minuses and so you can see uh, in terms of total course points what you need to get for each level of grade within that system. As we advance along here you can see again that your grades will be posted in Blackboard and I will be sending out announcements when I do update the uh, Blackboard uh, grade site. I'll, I'll typically have things graded uh, within one week of the deadline for that assignment. As you go forward with this you will see that there are descriptions of different assignments here and uh, I won't go through them all but uh, you'll see that uh, for many of them there are rubrics and these rubrics are here to uh, set the expectation of how the assignment will be graded and it's actually used when I do grade assignments and so uh, as you get feedback you can look at the feedback you get on these rubrics to identify what particular area you can improve in and and how that will affect you in terms of points and one that you'll see often in these rubrics across different assignments is how well you use the assigned readings and so I'm looking for you uh, in the discussion boards, postings, and in other assignments to use the theories, practices, research, other concepts that you're reading about in the textbook in the assigned reading and citing the page number from the text that you're getting uh, that information that you're using from the textbook. Again, we can advance and look at uh, other information in the syllabus, you'll see that there is information about technology support, and there may be times when you might be having technical issues that are beyond me, and so it's a good thing that we have help desks to help us out, and the Center for Teaching and Learning uh, helps us with Blackboard, and they have many resources that you'll find in the Student Resources tab in the main menu of Blackboard. This is a online class, a fully asynchronous class, and so uh, really understanding netiquette is uh, of utmost importance in this class. So please take the time to review some of these helpful hints on how we can respect others and communicate effectively in this fully asynchronous online class. Uh, I do have different policies posted here. One in particular is the policy on missed work uh, or late work. And I am looking for you to have a valid excuse for missed or late work. And uh, when that is the case, of course, uh, I'm fully happy to accept it without penalty. And there's many different kinds of valid excuses. They might be a personal medical emergency or medical emergency involving a direct family member. Uh, might be other kinds of excuses that you might have that are valid, like a death in the family. I, I'm looking for supporting documentation. And if this is a, an extended absence, I will be asking that you use the Dean of Students uh, Faculty Notification Service, and I have the website for that listed here. There may be circumstances where you just miss a deadline, and it's important you understand that you do have a little bit of leeway. Um, there's always up to three days that you can submit uh, an assignment late without a, a valid excuse. Uh, there will be in those circumstances a penalty of 10% late per day. But if you just you know forget and miss a deadline uh, and, and you can just do it the next day, please do that and get most of the credit 
that you deserve for completing that assignment. Other policies of note here are the incomplete policy. Um, please look at this. This is consistent with GSU's grading policy where they describe incompletes. Uh, there's also different types of tips such as, you know, making an effort to build rapport with your instructor with this being an online class. There may be a sense of distance. Please connect with me when you have questions, when you need clarification. I uh, Please email me or set up a time to come with uh, to talk to me uh, at office hours or by appointment. Um, understand when you can drop the course. If you're not doing well, um, that should be something that you call your advisor about and be clear about what that date is and so you can make the right decision. Uh, there is information for a disability. Uh, if you have a diagnosed disability or you have some concern, you can always talk to our office for access services for students with disabilities. The contact information for them is here both in their website and their email and their phone number. This is always the place to start. Um, they will establish what disabilities and what accommodations are needed and then reach out to me and we will work out the particulars at that point. Also as you go down you can see the Title IX statement. This has to do with anti harassment, anti-discrimination. So if at any time you feel that you have uh, experienced or witnessed uh, discrimination, we have a Title IX officer and their information and phone number and website are all posted here and you should contact them because they will help you in those circumstances. There's also other great information about emergency preparedness as we deal with the cold weather. That highlights this. Make sure your information is up to date. Uh, academic honesty is always important. I will be using plagiarism software to check work as part of this class uh, and I uh, want you to understand that uh, academic honesty is important. That also includes being honest in terms of the use of artificial intelligence. Um, there may be circumstances where it may aid you in the process, but you should not be cutting and pasting a response uh, that is tailored to an assignment question. Um, you, you should use it only in ways instructed by uh, me in this class. There's other information here that uh, is very important, such as your health and well-being. Uh, we have support services, and uh, again, if you're feeling a distress, uh, this is a great place to contact. There's other information here, uh, like uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, and our mission statements for both the university and the college. As the syllabus rounds out, you'll see it gets into a, a course outline. At this point, it's best for us to look at the schedule. And I don't have a lot of time left in the video, so I'm not going to go into detail here. But you can see in each module, I have a description of all the course activities and assignments and the dates or deadlines when they are due. And so this is a one-stop shop for deadlines for this course, and it is comprehensive in nature. So please use this, refer back to it. I will refer back to it often in announcements. So this is a goes beyond the outline that's in the syllabus and gives you the time frame and deadline for every activity, every assignment that is due in this class. Well, thank you for your time and attention. Please contact me whenever you have questions about the class. Thank you.